What's up my homies, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the OG herself, Marie Antoinette. We'll be examining her skills and stats as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have another spotlight up today for the other 4 star rider Martha who's also been quite requested so please check that out when you get the chance after this video. But for now, we're moving on to Marie's stats. Marie is second only to Martha when it comes to max HP among 4 star riders with 12,348. And when it comes to 4 stars in general, Marie is still near the top tier with her HP even surpassing some 5 star servants. As for her attack, as is usually the case with high HP servants, it's rather low at 8,293 putting her second from the bottom among all 4 star riders and near the bottom of the list among all 4 stars in general. But what about her skills? Her first skill is Siren Song Rank C which has between a 50 to 80% chance to inflict charm on males for one turn. Her second skill is Beautiful Princess Rank A which applies invincibility to her for 3 times and restores her HP between 200 to 600 per turn for 5 turns depending on level. And finally her last skill is Grace of God Rank B which increases her mental debuff rate for 3 turns between 10 to 30 percent and greatly restores HP for her between 1000 to 2500 depending on level. Marie's passives are Magic Resistance Rank C which increases her debuff resist by 15 percent and Riding Rank A+, which increases her quick card effectiveness by 11%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, her deck is a light quick deck with Quick Quick, Arts Arts Buster, and a quick Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Guillotine Breaker, which deals heavy damage to all enemies between 600 to 1000%, depending on level. It also restores HP to all allies between 500 to 2500, depending on overcharge, and it dispels debuffs on all allies. Taking a closer look at her deck, we can see that her Quick card hits two times, her Arts card hit once, her Buster card hits once, and her Extra Attack hits three times. Her Noble Phantasm gain modifier is 1% and her star rate is 9%. These are all very common, however, it does mean that she does have pretty low Noble Phantasm gain, it's pretty bad, and she's just sort of average as a star generator, the only strength being that she can quick brave chain with her Noble Phantasm for the occasional burst of crit stars. Marie excels at two things, being a tanky support and being a good farmer. Beautiful Princess is one of the best invincibility skills in the game and makes up the core of Marie's kit. Note that her invincibility lasts 3 times, not 3 turns, and in that respect it's pretty similar to Ku's protection from arrow skill, and just like Ku's skill, this keeps her alive for a very long time. On top of the 3 hit invincibility, she also heals for up to 600 HP every turn for 5 turns, and that is on a 6 turn cooldown at max level. Essentially that means she's healing herself nearly every turn for at least 3000 HP every 5 turns. A self heal and an invincibility is a powerful combo and it makes Marie one of the best stallers in the game. Grace of God also bestows her with another strong heal maxing at 2500. Combined with Beautiful Princess this means that she can heal herself for up to 5500 HP every 6 turns. The mental debuff resist on the skill is absolutely worthless though as it only works against charm and very few males have a charm skill. In addition, her first skill being a charm, while quite appropriate for her character, is a little underwhelming. When you factor in debuff resist on enemy servants, you'll have a hard time landing this consistently, though at least the chance is pretty high so if you pair her with someone who can lower enemy debuff resist you might be able to get the charm off more frequently and make it worthwhile. But I still recommend leveling the charm last, absolutely level beautiful princess first for the cooldown reduction and the increased health regen, then focus on leveling grace of god and then finally charm. The second aspect of what makes Marie good comes from her Nova Phantasm. Guillotine Breaker functions as a fairly strong farming tool, but its offensive use pales in comparison to its support use, which is often overlooked. Do not forget that Guillotine Breaker can give a large 2500 HP heal to the entire party and removes debuffs from the entire party. This is significant because debuff removal is critical late game and the heal isn't bad either. 
all this taken together, Marie has the ability to heal up to 8,000 HP every 6 turns, assuming you get her Noble Phantasm off once every 6 turns. That means she can heal 2 thirds of her health on top of giving herself invincibility for 3 hits and removing everyone's debuffs. And yes, that does include self-inflicted debuffs like Ruler's stun from her Noble Phantasm, wink wink. That isn't to say Marie is perfect, she suffers from bad Noble Phantasm gain, and despite having a semi-quick deck, she isn't too good at generating stars. At least, no better than the average servant, unless you get a quick chain with your Noble Phantasm. And of course, low attack and AoE Noble Phantasm make her weak offensively. Marie can be a strong team player though, so let's go over some ideal party members. Of course, Marie works great with the usual suspects, Hans and Waver. Hans gives her even more healing and a bit of an attack buff, while Waver can make up for her very low Noble Phantasm charge rate with his skills. But Marie works best probably when paired with Ruler. Ruler's deck can assist Marie's lack of Noble Phantasm charging, but more importantly, their Noble Phantasms complement each other perfectly. Ruler can give Marie an additional turn of invincibility and an additional heal, while Marie can provide her with a heal and more importantly, remove her self-inflicted stun, which is Ruler's greatest weakness until her interlude shows up. Between the two of them, you have two high HP tanks who can constantly heal and become invincible as needed. But aside from Ruler, David also works well for very similar reasons with his really strong dodge skill. She's just best used as a tanky staller, so pairing her with anyone who can heal is a good idea. Media Lily and Martha make for good companions, but she can also be used as a strong support for Nero or Vlad since her deck has a good amount of arts cards in it, and she can heal while also removing debuffs. Although Media Lily is better suited for the role of support healer. Finally, she makes a good team with Drake, Medusa, and Martha, and every other AoE rider when it comes to farming QP and experience. As for craft essences, her bond craft essence is my necklace, which boosts the crit star drop rate of all allies by 20%. And that's not a very strong craft essence on her, primarily because her crit star generation is nowhere near good enough to justify putting her in a crit team even with her craft essence. Instead, I suggest focusing on either using a craft essence that makes up for her bad Noble Phantasm gain or makes her healing stronger. So if healing is your focus and you want to go the stall route, I suggest going with Moon Goddess's Bath or the upcoming Maiden Halloween, since both of them will drastically improve her healing. For Noble Phantasm gain, go with Prisma Cosmos, Kaleidoscope, or Divine Banquet. Kaleidoscope is perfect for farming or putting on your Marie if she's on your support list so that others can use her to farm, while Prisma Cosmos and Divine Banquet make up for her very poor Noble Phantasm generation. Prisma Cosmos is preferred since it's more consistent. And finally, for power, you can go with Imaginary Around or Black Grail. While both of these will make her more of an offensive threat, I really advise against Black Grail, because despite having more than enough healing to support the burn effect, the power boost to her Noble Phantasm isn't that drastic, given that it's an AoE quick Noble Phantasm from a low attack servant. You shouldn't really be focusing on Marie's attack anyway. My overall opinion of Marie is that she's a fantastic tank support, if a bit selfish. While she is one of the best tanks in the game, thanks to her incredible healing and godly invincibility skill, and she can provide support in the form of her Noble Phantasm's debuff removal and heal, she's hampered by her really bad Noble Phantasm gain and the fact that most of her heals and skills only work on herself. While Noble Phantasm boosting craft essences and other servants can mitigate her weakness, she'll never be able to reliably pull out her Noble Phantasm every other turn the way that most supports, like Hans and Media Lily can. However, Marie does have something that neither of them do, which is the ability to deal actual damage and survive pretty much any situation thanks to invincibility. And because of that, she earns a B plus from me. It's best to think of Marie as a tank with light offensive and light support capabilities. She's not going to do as much damage as other riders or be as useful as a more dedicated support, but her raw survivability and utility put her slightly above most other riders and servants in my opinion. And if you need a tank or someone to stall, then she is your girl. And those are my thoughts on Marie. Let me know what you think in the comments. Marie was very highly requested, so I'm sure a lot of you have something to say. Also, please check out my Martha Spotlight, also up on the channel today. 
link in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next spotlight. Soberoni out. Later.